Right, so hello folks, here we are again. Um, quick video, well not necessarily quick, 10 minute video on how to defeat the man-eater, or man-eaters, um, the easy way. So, um, I'll start this video uh, a little bit late, so you can see they've got the second man-eaters already out. But basically when we entered the fog gate, uh, we tried to avoid the first man-eater and get to that brazier in the middle of the uh, aisle there. And um, we're using a thief ring, which kind of makes the man-eaters docile. Uh, a lot different if you're not using a thief ring. I'm, I'm sure that everybody that's watching this video will know if you're not using a thief ring, they're just maniacs. Um, I think they're sort of similar to the flame worker. Um, in the way they look and perhaps the way they behave at times. They've also so shoot things at you. Um, so yeah, I struggled on this boss. Uh, this is my first run through on Demon Souls. Um, so I'm hoping to uh, uh, improve my skills. And if I play it again, I hope to play it again. Hopefully uh, be more skillful in perhaps the melee attacks. And um, be able to beat them when they're sort of fully charged if you get me drift. But there's no way I can beat them when they're running around like maniacs. So anyway, like I said, have I already said um, we want the thief ring here, which makes them docile, and you can like use the brazier, the fire thing, to hide behind when they get aggroed, and um, just keep that between you, and that should reset them again. And uh, we're using the bow, as you can see there. Um, you could use magic as well. I'm using the bow here because I think my bow is a lot stronger than my magic at this stage, and. Um, just take your time. As you can see, the other man eater is like trying to get out the other fog gate. So now, when we're nearly ready, I thought I killed the uh, first man eater thing because it flashed. I'm not looking at the thing, but we're nowhere near it yet. We're nearly there. Um, yeah, the, the second man eater is sort of out of the way down by the other uh, fog gate, so he's not um, near us, which is obviously handy. That's because of the thief ring as well. If we didn't have the thief ring, they'd both be pestering us. Um, now and again you might get the odd knock um, and if it gets too bad you can like, hide down a little sort of like ledge um, by the by the side of the aisle. Um, I, didn't, I don't think I used it in this particular uh, encounter but you can use that. Um, I like to use the regenerator ring but in this case I'm just using the cling ring and obviously alongside with the thief ring. But usually I carry the uh, cling ring and the regenerator ring because the regenerator ring does what it says and regenerates your HP. But uh, in this case I've got the cling ring. I want to keep the cling ring just to get just in case I get a hefty knock. And um, just rely on the thief ring to uh, keep them docile. So, um, obviously not pretty. I'd like to go in for a fight with a melee weapon. But uh, not good enough at this stage. Let's like say when I go through Demon's Souls a second time round, perhaps we can uh, go in a little bit more um, heroically and honorably. <laughs> Maybe. Could be Cat looking at me here. You right there, Tills? That's Astro Cat. Astro Cat makes an appearance on the channel from time to time. So yeah, so there we are. Obviously the closer the enemies are with the bow, the more uh, power you can knock out. IBN is kind of extra cautious here. So now we're firing one arrow at a time, you're going to get two or three in at times. But they do take some energy away when they do hit you. And they're still dangerous when they are up close. As you can see, pretty close out in this moment in time. So since defeating Man Eater, I think I defeated Man Eater after I can't remember when I did it. Obviously one of the harder bosses when when you're not using the thief ring. But uh, at the moment I'm at um, Inner Ward. And that's proven to be a little bit difficult. Uh, I haven't reached the boss at Inner Ward yet. I think that's a penetrator, isn't it, I believe. I haven't got that far yet, trying to get past these New red-eyed knights in a ward. 
So you, right, yeah, because you get to inner war after you defeat the god demon. So the god demon's like an arch demon, and then that opens up inner war. So um, these like ninjas jump out as well. But uh, kind of got used to them, but uh, struggling a little bit with the red-eyed knights at the moment, so I might have to level up a little bit more. So, um, there's another place, I can't remember the name now, Islands, the Ritual Path, which is down by, like, uh, after Islands Edge. So I might go there as well at some point. So there we are, that's the first man-eater down, and now we can aggro the second man-eater. And just do the same thing. I fancy the second one was easier. So, might be my imagination. So, here he comes. So, obviously, gives you plenty of time to uh, think about what you're doing instead of these fast attacks, which uh, just blows my mind. And I said I did the God Demon. When did I do the God Demon? A couple of days ago, I think it was. That was quite crazy, but once you get used to that, it's not really a fight, really. It's more of a working out a puzzle, but um, slightly irritating. Well, quite irritating. I do find some of these bosses a bit irritating, but um, that's probably down to my lack of skill rather than anything else. Amazing graphics, though. Just love this game because of the graphics. <laughs> that's the thing, I want to get past these bosses. Um, because I'm more of an explorer rather than the fighter. I like a bit of a challenge and a little bit of a fight, but uh, I don't really like them too hard. Of course, you can't choose a level um, when you start Demon Souls and these types of games. It's just one level and that's it. And you're straight in there. But I suppose there are some little windows for um, people that aren't so skilled, such as using the Thief Ring like I'm using here. So perhaps you can get through a little bit easier. I don't especially like cheesing um, bosses. I'd rather like, you know, kill them um, or have a honourable fight like I mentioned before. But um, sometimes it's just so hard whilst I'm at the level that I'm at. I just love these graphics so much. I want to see what's coming next. So I want to get past these bosses. I'm sure like a lot of people are like that. I mean, I'm okay with like the normal enemies, you know, like the in-game enemies. They so, so soon pick up on reading those. Although it did take me a long time to get into the Souls games. Because, uh, well, I mean, I've, I've got Elden Ring. So I've been playing Elden Ring, but Demon Souls was the first one I played, which was this year, which wasn't that long ago, maybe six weeks ago. I'd never played a Souls game before, and... Um, I didn't realise what a Souls game was until I'd ordered this game. And then I read about it and I thought, well, perhaps it's not going to be the game for me. But anyway, I pers persevered with the fighting and it probably took me all week just to get up the steps of Boletaria. Well, right at the beginning, so it took me a long time to get there. Um, now I kind of know what's going on and um, I suppose the mechanics of the game have clicked. Although I still find it hard to read bosses, so I hope that comes with time. I'm going to get back into Elden Ring at some point and uh, beat some of those bosses. I beat the, the early ones, the easier ones, using the, um, what are they call the Ashes, the a uh, Ashes of War folks. But, um... Yeah, pretty difficult. Those giants that run around, um, I'm still pretty uh, shaky with those. <clears throat> but anyway, Demon Souls might have approved my playing, so I'll go back to Elden Ring at some point. Right, so we're nearly there with the second man eater. And then it's job done. There we go. Job done. There. Demon Vanquished. So anyway, there we are. Anybody watching this, I hope it helps. Um, obviously designed, the video is made, I should say, for the rookie, the beginner, like me. And I hope it helps. So just a stepping stone until we get our melee action sorted.
or perhaps a little bit more skilled with the bow and magic, as well as the sword and axes and other weapons. Anyway, so there we are. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.